So imagery is a type of thinking people often say that involves your senses, thoughts that you can see, hear, smell, feel, you know, daydreams. It's a language, it's an emotional language. It's a synthetic gestalt language. It's a language of the arts. It's, you know, all the visual arts, drama, um, poetry, painting, even music, dance, images that bring, convey a lot of information, but not in the same way that an equation conveys information. But it makes sense, you know, it's the difference between listening. I think Einstein once said, said you could break a Beethoven sonata down into wavelengths and frequencies, but you'd be missing the point, you know. So there's that linear scientific part, there's that experiential part, we're after that. So imagery is a natural way that we think. It's very closely linked to the emotions. It's a natural, if you think about it as a coding language, it's a coding language of the emotional intuitive brain. And it's just that we haven't had much education in using it. And runaway imagination is probably the primary source of modern stress. It's not just what's happening, it's what you think will happen to you and how it will affect you that sends the signals down into your body. On the other hand, developing a skillful imagination, one that, can, one that you can use to send messages of calmness, of confidence, creativity, of there's a lot of different ways to use it. Your most potent tool for stress relief, but you need to learn some skills in order to use it on purpose. So the imagery, what the imagery does is if we're having problem that we can't solve in that cortex, the imagery brings the limbic brain into, it brings the emotional intuitive intel, intelligence to that issue or problem. So it just brings a whole other big area of the brain to bear on whatever the problem is. So it doesn't take anything away, it adds intelligence to your problem solving. So you can calm your brain with imagery just like you can, you can um, make it anxious. You know, I could, I could take you through a little imagery, just ask you to imagine the scariest thing you've ever been through. Don't do that right now. If we went through it and had you really, you know, what do you see, what do you hear, what do you smell, imagine you're there again, you could work up pretty good anxiety. If I ask you instead to imagine that you go to a place that's peaceful and beautiful to you and that you just love to be in, where you have nothing to do and it's safe and it's the right temperature and notice what you see and hear and smell and immerse yourself in that daydream, your brain will send messages down through the limbic system, down into the lizard brain. It'll say it looks beautiful, peaceful, and safe. It sounds beautiful, peaceful, and safe. It smells nice. It's peaceful here. It's safe. Hit the all clear button and your body will shift into that. So there's that place is where right now do I want to focus my attention? What, what train of thought do I want to put my attention on? 